g'day so i had somebody uh, mentioned that they wanted a longer form content of my udims getting udims working in marmoset so you know i've just set up a very simple thing and i just want to say first off you know marmoset doesn't innately support udims but i would assume they're working on it i think um you know i've been in the Mama said Discord for quite a while and they've acknowledged it and they've definitely, you know, given quite a good couple thumbs up to those uh, requests. So I would assume that, that, you know, they definitely know about it. Um, I think it's just a matter of time before they, you know, have it inbuilt into their system. But, um, you know, for now, I've just got a simple texture here, just hello with some smiley faces on top. Um, and, you know, so I've got my textures uh, here. And you'll see that we've got, you know, base color for UDIM 1. And then we've got the UDIM 2, which will be base color UDIM 2. And that's over here with the two smiley faces. Um, as I've set it up in my UV editor over here. There we go. So I've got one, which is just that. That I mean, very simple. You wouldn't generally do this, I don't think. But this is just for, you know, showing off how it's going to work um so we run into this and it's all one um you know i'm just using the uh, the default lambert and the issue you run into so if i go new scene oh well this is the new scene um go import model and i import my you know cylinder here and so lambert one which is the material you run into the issue of um well it's only you know it doesn't really work too well because you know it's only looking at that singular udem so it's kind of treating all the uvs as if it's just on the singular udem so you run into the bit of an issue of it not really working so to fix this very simple it's just creating um some like an id map effectively so if i go and I just go face select, select these faces, and I assign a new material. We can assign a Arnold um, standard surface. This could be, I think, any. Um, I don't think it matters too much what you choose. Um, but for the sake of this, we'll just oh, and accidentally alt tab instead and run into the issues. Right, uh, just select it that way instead. Um, let's use Arnold standard surface. So I think you can use Fong, Blin, whatever you want to use. Just go green for that example. So we've given an ID for this UDIM. So everything, the way you want to work this out um, to get it to understand is everything that would be on each UDIM would be a separate color, right? So this all, all the um, faces and everything going around this ring is this part here that's on this singular UDIM. Now, everything on the top uh, and the bottom, that is, is on the second UDIM. So when doing it, let's say you're doing a human or something like that, um, you know, and maybe you have just the face on one UDIM, then that whole face or all those face, uh, you know, effectively that shell that UV shell, you want to paint that color and effectively everything on that singular UDIM and the same for whatever, you know, maybe the hands or the same for, you know, the body, depending on how you split up the UDIMs. Um, so here we're only using two UDIMs and it's separated by, you know, the tops and the bottom um, and then the sides. And so I'll just re-export this. So I'll export the selection when I actually select it properly. Um, and this effectively is going to be because as we notice it over here it's only importing that one lambert material so it looks for the materials so you can apply different udims onto uh, as different um, materials per se so if i just put this in example um, and go example id and then export that go into marmoset and we can delete this import model um go into here example id and as you can see now we've got of course the lambert from before um as i didn't delete that but we've got standard surface and standard surface so 
I'm not too sure which one's which because I had extra ones in the scene on accident. But um, we can, I think this sides I did, uh, you can, uh, the sides was two. Yep, so we've got the hollow. And over here, if we go to standard surface three and do UDIM two, as we did it, we've got our smiley faces, nice and simple. So I think the key thing here you just want to bear in mind is just whatever color, uh, you, you know, you, you'll do it all in here with the separate UDIMs or whatever program you use to texture, you know, Quixel, uh, Quixel Mixer, I should say, uh, you know, um, whatever. Uh, just make sure to, you know, just bear in mind which, you know, UV shell is in which UDIM and so that when you go into here you can you can do this obviously after you don't have to do it before you texture this can be after the case as long as you remember which ones um otherwise it would be easy to id it prior to bringing it into um substance painter and so then you're just doing it based off the um you know what material it is instead of which uv it is depending on how you want to do it that might be a little bit easier um and then just export it or re-export it with the ids now and then bring it to our mama set and you'll have access to those specific um, materials which you want to use and apply and that will allow you to use multiple items on your model. I uh, hope that was informative, hope that helped and yeah um, let me know if you guys have any more questions, uh, if you need me to re-explain it any differently um, I can probably message you in the comments or alternatively if you really need I can make another um, video but otherwise hope that helps, hope you learned something and yeah Catch you later. Bye.